Okay, we're going to look at something called the Human Genome Project, and uh, this was completed a while ago, and there's a lot of good video clips online where the president at the time came out and announced this, and uh, you'll see a lot of the people um, being interviewed in various types of science magazines and keeping us up to date with what's going on in the world of biology and biotechnology. So the Human Genome Project, and there's some great documentaries out there. You might be able be able to find some on Google or on YouTube, was an international cooperative venture established to help sequence the entire human genome. And before that, we had done this for a few other uh, small organisms like E. coli and the fruit fly, but to figure out to read all the letters of the entire human genome. Now, you may be thinking, well, aren't all humans different? So what would be the point of doing that? Because we're all different. Well, it turns out um, you who is watching this video and me, our DNA sequences are 99% identical. So there's, it's, it's probably higher than that, but the small, tiny percentage of the millions of bases that make up your genome are actually letter for letter identical to mine with the exception of maybe like 1%. Me and a, me and a chimpanzee are 98% identical. Me and a banana, or a banana and I, I should say, 50% identical. So if you can get some humans to donate their DNA, and they found plenty of volunteers to do that, sequence all of that, we can figure out quite a lot about, uh, well, we can figure out all the entire sequence of letters that are present in the DNA. That was big news. So what is the genome? The genome is an, an organism's entire genetic endowment. So the complete nucle nucleotide sequence of its DNA Book of Life contains the instructions used to make an entire organism and guide its growth and development. Now, where we are, uh, this has happened for a long time, and so a lot of this information is available for free on the internet. But what it is right now, what we have basically done, is we have just created a big long list of letters, A's, C's, T's, and G's, in a specific order that match um, the human genome. N understanding, of course, that there are variations based on that 1% difference between all of us. So some benefits of the Human Genome Project should have led to, and some of this has already helped, uh, understanding of genetic diseases, development of genome libraries that people can search through to actually find out if there are differences between different types of diseases or to identify new types of diseases, and the production of gene probes for genetic screening to help us detect um, different types of diseases at different stages in life and production of drugs based on DNA sequences. You take this new knowledge combined with some of the new technologies, stem cell uh, therapies, and you could end up with a lot of potential good things that could help all of us out in the future. So here is a quick practice question you can take a look at. And I'm not gonna explain it, but just try to study this and pause the video. It's gonna take some time to walk through because I'm gonna give you the answer right about now.